One of the biggest talking points in this competition has been the trial run of video assistant referees, which has gotten mixed reactions. VAR involves two video assistant referees who monitor the actions on screens and draw the attention of officiating mistakes. It has worked well because in the 12 group stage matches played, it helps correct six games, changing decision and rule correctly. Critics of the technology have pointed out that it kills the momentum of the game and also removes a bit of humanity. Traditionally, this competition has been used by the host nation to show their preparedness and readiness to hold the World Cup in the next year. And on that footing, the Russians have clearly impressed and seen to be very ready to welcome the world for the biggest footballing festival next summer. From the beautiful stadium to impressive turnout of at matches to a proper organization of the tournament. African champions Cameroon were kicked out of the tournament as they were only able to garner just one point from their three games. They were let down by their inaccuracy in front of goal as they were unable to convert numerous chances they created. Australia gave a good account of themselves as they were able to hold Chile and Cameroon to a draw and lost just narrowly to Germany, while their neighbors, New Zealand, were unable to get a point from all groups' games. Perhaps the most disappointing team was the host nation, Russia, who lost to Mexico and Portugal and were only able to defeat New Zealand as they exit in the group stage. James Bongar, Tusi Sports News.